Hello everyone. I'm speaking to you again from the Peace Mahler Garden at Peace Mahler HQ in Swansea, Wales in the United Kingdom. And I'm in a part of the garden here where if you look over my shoulder I think you will notice that there is a little shrine. And the shrine is actually dedicated to a very much loved saint in the Christian tradition. And his name is Saint Francis of Assisi. Now there are many other shrines and areas uh, throughout the Peace Mahler Gardens here that are dedicated to the different faiths. And those of you who are familiar with the Peace Mahler Bracelet know of course that we have 14 spiritual traditions represented on the Peace Mahler Bracelet. And interfaith for, for peace is a huge um, part of the Peace Mahler project. But today I want to focus on uh, St. Francis of Assisi from the Christian tradition, a much loved saint who is linked with the environment and animals. And this is because Francis developed an incredibly powerful relationship with all of nature and through nature he experienced the energy, the Holy Spirit of the Divine, of God. There is something that he wrote um, called the Canticle of the Creatures and I want to share some of that with you today. Not all of it, but some of it. And as we listen to the Canticle of the Creatures, I think, I hope, you will begin to understand how Francis realized how intimately interconnected uh, all of creation is. Um, that everything, everywhere, is linked with God's divine energy. And that means us human beings, the human family across the whole planet, but also everything in the world of nature and all animals and creatures of the earth, of the sea, of the air, everything is interlinked. All of it belongs and all of it matters. And those um, schools and groups that are involved with the Peace Mahler Project realize that in one area for accreditation we ask you to explore environmental sustainability and compassion for all animals, not just pets, all animals, everything that lives we should have respect for and to be kind and to be compassionate. So, and Sir David Attenborough, whom I'm a great admirer of, he is certainly speaking out, isn't he, to us all about the importance of looking after the planet. And of course, um, the uh, environmental problems that are escalating at the moment. We need to do something and we need to do it now. We need to do it now to save our planet for the future. Let me share some of the Canticle of the Creatures with you from St. Francis of Assisi. Most High, all-powerful, good Lord, Yours are the praises, the glory, and the honour, and all blessing. To you alone, Most High, do they belong. And no human is worthy to mention your name. Praise be you, my Lord, with all your creatures, especially Brother Son, who is the day and through whom you give us light. And he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor and bears a likeness of you, Most High One. Praise be to you, my Lord, through Sister Moon and the stars in heaven. You formed them clear and precious and beautiful. Praise be you, my Lord, through Brother Wind and through the air 
cloudy and serene and every kind of crit weather, through whom you give sustenance to your creatures. Praised be you, my Lord, through Sister Water, who is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. Praised be you, my Lord, through Brother Fire, through whom you light the night. And he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praised be you, my Lord, through our sister, Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us, and who produces various fruit with coloured flowers and herbs. Praise be you, my Lord, through those who give pardon for your love and bear infirmity and tribulation. Blessed are those who endure in peace, for by you most high shall they be crowned. Indeed, it is Jesus also who said, Blessed are the peacemakers. And peace, of course, is what we all seek, and it can only be found inside ourselves. May we all work through that. May we work together for peace on this beautiful planet. Let us respect the environment. Let us cherish all living things. Let us have more respect and compassion for everything that lives. I leave you with the thoughts of beloved St. Francis of Assisi. May you all be blessed. May you find peace and let us work together for a more compassionate world. God bless you all.